Now in a previous video I showed how to unbox the Puma foundation scope from the Optark package. In this video I'll show you how to set up the scope and assemble it for first use. So we've got our components here. The first thing we'll do is take out the components that are in the little separate plastic bags. So this is the mirror assembly which is partially pre-assembled for you. Here's the mirror. And the other thing that was in this packet was the ocular lens holder. Here are the stage clips. Here are the two blank filter, filter trays. And the little rings are there to hold any filters you have in place. They come with it. And finally, well not finally, we have, we have the ocular lens finally, but this is the test slide. So this test slide is in a box, a protective case. If you slide it where the label is forward, it only goes that far, so you can see, read the label. But it's stopped from going any further by two little stops here. If you want to actually take the slide out of the case, you have to push it the other direction. So that goes all the way down, up to there and stops, but that gives you enough room to get the slide out of the case like that. So put that to one side. And that's a protective case. And finally we have the ocular lens, high quality ocular lens. So we'll put that there. So that's times 10 ocular lens. So, first thing we do is we take the main stage. For transport, the stage was elevated all the way up. We want to take some of the tension off those springs now, so we'll rotate this a little bit. Only a few turns, so the springs aren't fully compressed. Next thing we do is we turn this upside down. Now these will be a little bit loose. This is the holder that holds the mirror in place. So these will be a bit loose. They are on two thumb screws that you can loosen and tighten. You want it to be a bit loose because the first thing you want to do is slot the mirror into the slot provided for it, like so. And once you've got it in, you simply tighten these up to a reasonable level. You may want a little bit of play in it so you can adjust the mirror, but you don't want it to be particularly loose. It doesn't have to be very tight, but you don't want it too loose either. So that's our mirror in place. Now, we, before we turn the scope the right way up, we need to put the legs in place because otherwise that mirror is sticking out and it'll be standing on the mirror. So the next thing to do is put the legs in place. So these are the front legs, the ones that have attached to the spacer already. So they just screw on like so, finger tight. You don't need a span or anything. There we are. And this back leg. Now, for ergonomic viewing, you only use the plastic leg, 3D printed leg. If you need the scope to be perfectly level, because you're looking at fluid samples, then you will put this plastic leg on the spacer, just as the other two were, and put the spacer on. But I'm going to use assemble this in the ergonomic position, so I'm just going to use the 3D printed leg directly onto the stage. So that screws onto this back thread. So now we have the legs in place, so that can stand up. Next thing we do is assemble the optical tube. So the stage is ready, we now want to assemble the optical tube. First thing, take your filter block and put the two empty filters in the slots just to block this slot so that we don't get stray light going into the tube. Put the lower one in first and you do this, with, it has to be the correct way up. You can see a little um, symbol on the slider here that shows you that this is the top surface. Top surface means it goes towards this lug. That's the top surface. The bottom surface is the thread that the RMS objective goes into. So that's top, that's bottom. We've got the filter slots here and we have this marking. There's no marking on the other side. So the one with the marking is top, so that has to go facing the 
top side and you put the bottom filter in first because then you can rest that on the quick release part here that goes in be careful not to move it so it crosses up onto the upper slot clicks in place and once that's in it's relatively easy to put the other filter slot again correct side facing up into the top slot and clicks in place that's done now we'll take the monocular tube and there's a wide thread at one end and a narrow thread at the other end. The narrow thread goes into the top of the filter block. So like this. Finger tight, it doesn't have to be too tight. And then on top of that comes the ocular lens holder, which is already partially assembled for you. That just screws on here. So now you have your optical tube. The only thing that's missing are the lenses, so we'll add those now. Take the objective out of its holder. That threads into the RMS thread here. Be careful not to cross the thread. There we are. And then finally we have the ocular lens. Now this could be a little bit loose. It will fit but it can be a bit loose, it might fall out if you turn it upside down. Okay, so be careful once you put that in, it just rests on the shoulder like that. You can adjust it up and down with this um, ring nut here, move it down, then you can screw the top bit down, and then this can go further down, or move, screw it up, and then lock it in place with a lock nut there. So you can adjust that as required. It should come pre-adjusted to the correct level if you're using the scope without any filters. So once you've got that in place, we now fit the optical tube onto the stage and we do that noting that this lug faces forward and the filters face the back. The back is where the focus controls are. Now you can't just plonk it in like that, it's rotatable, it's a rotating connection. You can see the threads here. So what you do is you put it in at 90 degrees like this, make sure it's flat against the base and then you rotate it and it will lower down and click in place. Not a very sharp click but it is a definite click. Be careful when you're doing that not to cross the threads, that's why you have to make sure that it's flat and against the base when you're putting it at 90 degrees. Rotate, it should easily click in place and that's solid. Don't turn it upside down because this may fall out. Okay. So there's your microscope, and I'll hold on to the ocular lens, show you from the side. So that's how it is. Now it's properly assembled. It won't be in focus, but it's properly assembled. We'll get the right focus once we have a specimen in place. So get your specimen and get your stage clip. Be careful when you're putting the specimen on the stage not to let the glass touch the objective. So rest it on the stage, slide it across like that. Then put the stage clip in its hole and press it down and that will hold it in place and use the other one in its hole there, press it down, that will hold it in place and that's now held in place. You can move it around a bit, slide it around. The reason I did it this way is because if you try to put the stage clips in first and then rotate them onto the slide, the metal of the clip can scratch against the edge of the slide and cause fragments of glass. So I prefer to lift the stage clips in and out rather than turn them around. Okay, so I put it in with it on the slide and then I push it down. The springiness of the clip will hold it in place. And that's that. So you will find a good light source, a diffuse light source such as a cloudy sky, and then adjust the focus until your slide is in focus. And that's essentially how you set up the Puma foundation scope. This is your lens cap, it's a passive cap, just goes on the top, so when you're not using it for any period of time, prevent the dust from going on like that. So that's how you set up initially your Puma foundation scope.